It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today we've got something a little bit unusual for you. Some of you older people might be thinking what's so unusual about a bottle of Bass beer? It was massive in the 60s, 70s and 80s. Uh, everybody knows that little red triangle if they lived in the UK or in parts of Europe, maybe even America. Here's the bottle cap. First of all, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. And I will explain. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Wow, look at this. Head's not going to stay around too long, I don't think. Well, I'd say that it's not too bad. Uh, quite nice levels of carbonation. It's a clear golden amber liquid. Uh, the beer's available from beersofeurope.co.uk. Check out beersofeurope.co.uk in the description box of the video. Largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world. So. Let's get on to let's, let's, well we've looked at the beer, crystal clear to look at, golden, amber, crystal clear beer, no haze to it whatsoever. Aroma. There's a sort of dryness to it, it's 5% ABV by the way. A little bit of biscuit and malt. There's a touch of tartness going on, but not too much. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's, there's a touch of roastiness coming through. There's definite biscuit malt coming through. That carbonation, you can feel it. It's biting at the palate. It's almost trying to take you away from the flavor of the beer. It's almost like, hey, over here, I'm the aggressive carbonation. Don't think about that flavor, just think about me. So it's important that, yeah, we think about the flavour of the beer rather than just that. It's quite an aggressive carbonation as I've just mentioned. Um, yeah there's some biscuit malt qualities, there's a little bit of a roastiness, a toastiness to it. It's an ever so slight touch of tartness going on, a little bit of lemon. It's not the worst beer I've ever tried in my life. Now, I was talking to you earlier on about this being a really unusual beer. Because it's brewed in Belgium. Brewed in Belgium by Imbev. And it's 5% ABV. It's a little bit stronger than, than the Bass Pale Ale we get here in the UK. Now, Marston's in the UK brew Bass Pale Ale. It's about 4.1, 4.2% ABV. Uh, I, it might be a little bit higher than that. I'm not too sure. It, it's around that 4.1 to 4.2% ABV. Uh, strength, of, strength of beer. So it's lighter than this particular beer. It's brewed by Marston's. And it's generally, you can get it on cask in the Swansea area, probably in the Midlands area. I've never really seen it in Cardiff too much. Um, yeah, so they have the rights for the UK. And I've seen it in bottles in Asda, the Asda supermarkets. It wasn't a very good beer. It wasn't a very good beer at all, if I remember rightly. This is 5% ABV and it's brewed in Belgium by AB InBev, the biggest brewer in the world, probably by volume. Brew Stella Artois. Um, and I don't know, to be honest, I don't really follow much about InBev. Um, they brew this, um, part of their, one of their brands. So my question to you guys is, 
Why is there a, and the bottle's smaller as well, it's only a 25 centiliter bottle. Why is it brewed in Belgium at 5% ABV and why is it brewed in the UK at 4 point something percent ABV and why does it seem to have two different owners? Why is it brewed under license uh, for for Ma uh, b b from Inbev to Marston's? I'm a little, bit, a little bit confused here. <clears throat> it's an iconic brewery. They've been around since 17. 77 I'm pretty sure this beer it was the first ever trademark product that triangle is the number one trademark England's first registered trademark trademark number one is called so it's iconic um, it's quite important in historical terms bass were massive my one of my first ever employers was bass I worked in a pub when I was about 19. I had a job as an apprentice carpenter from 96 to 99. I worked in a pub then from 99 to 2001, just a couple of years. But my pay packets were bass. Uh, I worked for bass. And something happened. I, I seem to remember them flogging all of their pubs and flogging their whole estate. Um, yeah, something, something kind of happened with bass and, and that was the end of that. Um, you rarely see it anymore. But I, I was on the Beers of Europe website, I was in the Belgian section and I come across this. And I thought, it's really odd, it's really strange. We're in Brussels in Belgium. So comment in the comments box, what's going on? Why is it brewed by Marston's? Why is it brewed by InBev? It's probably owned by InBev. Um, that's probably the clearest answer, but why don't InBev just make it and ship it all around the UK if they need to? Why do they have to contract brew it at Marston's? Let's rate it. It's probably a shadow of its former self. In, in fact, I could think I can taste a little bit of flavourings going on rather than a tartness they've managed to maybe put a touch of, of, of some weird flavorings in here um, yeah I, it's it was never gonna be uh, stone the crows me jumping up and down raving about this beer um, this was just me almost like a point of reference I wanted to stick this on the channel just through its importance uh, being the first trademarked thing in the UK and that thing was a beer um, it has a little bit of importance yeah it's done it's done I'll probably forget it very quickly in fact I can't remember really what the beer tasted like that Marston's brewed the, the Bass Pale Ale back four or five years ago when I reviewed it I, I got really no idea what it what it tastes what it tasted like back then it's just a forgettable beer um, as, I, as I mentioned probably a shadow of its former self it's probably uh, f 5 out of 10 5 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers